Hello educators and welcome to lesson 5 of our collaboration series, Pencil Spaces. In this lesson we will be taking a look at the collaborative features of Pencil Spaces and a few of the more than 150 features in the app. During this lesson, Chris will demonstrate how to share a pencil space with students to unlock the collaborative features. Then he will take you on a tour of the features, but not all of them since there are so many. But don't worry, we will have plenty of resources for you at the end of the lesson. Next, Chris will show you how to connect apps like Google Drive to make collaboration easier and more robust. And finally, we will be including a YouTube playlist for you to take a deeper dive into pencil spaces, as well as a list of tools we have put together for specific content areas to make them easier to find and use. And now we will turn it back over to Chris to take us through our lesson. Thanks, Alex. We're now going to take a look at our lesson on pencil spaces. Another whiteboard tool that allows our students to collaborate on their devices project them into our create board and work on their collaboration in real time. Let's launch Pencil Spaces and take a look. All right, let's dive in and get started. I have my uh, <clears throat> Pencil Space here, ChatGPT, friend, friend or foe. Uh, it's a question and we'll be discussing it in our board. So I can invite my students uh, by making it public and copying the link and pasting it directly into Google Classroom, Canvas, Schoology, or whichever platform I'm using, or I can invite people uh, independently. So once I've invited some people in, okay, I'm gonna invite participant or as a host participant okay, we can participate in here we can take a look at our functionality so for board one we have the ability to pan so we can move our canvas these are large pixel canvases we have our pin and we can increase the font size this works really well on our lg create board and What's your opinion? Oops. I'm not as fluid as I could be. You don't want to see my cursive. All right, so you've got, what's my opinion, your opinion? Okay, I'm gonna have students use some of the other tools, not just the, the writing, but we could use a text tool. Okay, and font can be modified to different fonts uh, as well as size, okay. color, so forth. Not so exciting. Um, but once that text has been placed there, others can comment on it and give feedback and say, yes, I agree with that or no, I don't. Great feature, very similar to uh, some of the things we see in Google Slides, Google Docs. Okay. Uh, then there is sticky notes. And so we can post a sticky note anywhere. Um, okay, I'm just gonna cite all the, uh, the textual evidence that people have out there. Okay, I'm afraid it will eliminate, eliminate jobs. And so, you can see we can do all sorts of interactive components in here. Um, and if we were doing math, we could incorporate um, new and new shapes, all sorts of different things. And so let's take a look at the boards and we can add another board. So very similar to what we've seen with whiteboard chat, dot chat, we have another board and we can insert those shapes directly on the page. Okay, then let's take a look at some of the other things. Then we have our formula editor. And so the formula editor is, uh, utilizes either LaTeX uh, or keyboard or drawing. And so let's see if I can do this. X equals 
pre plus y. It's pretty basic algebra. But you can see up there it did. Done. It's going to insert it directly in here and it can be increased. And so I could take this ostensibly and duplicate this across uh, the board and have my students coming in and interacting and actually working on problems independently um, or collaboratively, depending on how many problem sets that I identify. Uh, so that's, that's the basic functionality of pencil spaces. The other thing that I would add in is that there is real-time chat uh, that can be monitored in here. There is also apps. And so the app functionality incorporates lots of Google tools, as you can see. So we can import from Google Drive. We can run an interactive poll. I can set a stopwatch or, more appropriately, a timer. And so students would see this across any board that they're working on. Okay. And then uh, there is chat with chat GPT. That's, let's take a look at it. It's incorporating chat GPT, new chat in there. Now that may uh, cause some concern for some people. So I would not incorporate it into there. There's also Nearpod and math manipulatives. And so we can look at all the sorts of different resources to drop on our board and make our math that much more interactive. There's also, um, these are all pro tools. So many of these are free, or there's some free ones and many paid ones. There's a periodic table, graphic calculator, um, and other ones that are in there. So that's just a quick overview of pencil spaces. And as you can see, it's another great uh, tool for your toolkit for interacting and collaborating with students with your LG Create Board, um, as well as their student devices, um, or even potentially having students come up and work independently if you have multiple Create Boards spread uh, across the space. And as promised, here are some resources for you. First, if you would like some additional training on pencil spaces, head on over to their website where they have a lot of literature to help you out. If you are more of a visual learner and would like to do a deeper dive into pencil spaces, we have put together a YouTube playlist for you to explore. Finally, because there are so many tools on pencil spaces, we have put together a list of 10 tools for each core content area that we think could come in handy. We hope you had fun learning about pencil spaces. We will see you in the next lesson.